there are just four days to go. And if you think you're busy with last minute shopping, imagine what Santa has to do. He must be up to his eyeballs. So you'd think he'd have all his helpers on double shifts and overtime. But no, look at this. <laughs> All the helpers have abandoned their toyland duties and swapped their hijack boots for trainers to take part in a Santa run. The annual event takes place in Antwerp. 2,000 of Santa's Belgian helpers are embarking on a 5K run competing for prizes. And there's me thinking Father Christmas was all about giving. There's an award for fastest, best dressed and sexiest Santa helper. And also one for best Santa accessory, best musical accessory and best reindeer outfit. The red-robed runner who got to the finishing post first was Nick Raymabe. We came here with the idea first to, uh, to have some fun. And then I heard on the radio, of course, that there were some nice prizes to it. So. When the real Santa finds out his helpers have been off pursuing prizes, he's not going to be happy. The real man in red, of course, is back in Finland, busy getting his reindeers ready for Monday night. But Santa says he's a bit worried this year, as it's just too warm for Christmas. So close to the 25th, there should be a lot more snow around. But everything that has fallen, even in the Arctic, has all but melted. Mr Claus blames global warming. I sometimes think that uh, people don't remember and realise that we don't actually own this earth. We haven't inherited it for us. We have borrowed it from the future generations. So with no snow on the ground, it's sure to be a very bumpy ride on his sleigh.